Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 41 degree Tuesday, the 17th of January. Anyway, it's beautiful out here, what I call beautiful in the Northwest. It ain't sunny like yesterday, but I don't care. Anyway, let's start off with Tuesday. So, <laughs> Kelly sounds like she's having a bad dream. She's all gurgly sounding and so <laughs> she wakes up. I said, good Lord. I said, were well, you having a bad dream? She goes, yeah, kind of. She goes, I was, being <laughs> I was being chased across this river by a bear, and I, <laughs> and I thought I was drowning. She goes, thanks for waking me up. I was glub, glub, glub. <laughs> uh, some of dreams can seem awfully real, though. Yeah. <laughs> drowning with a bear chasing you. There's some blue. Oh, mama? nice though with Lisa Rhodes everything all nice and dry here yeah Van Chulo we'll take it we'll take it and it looks like it might threaten us I don't know. yeah Maybe. I haven't paid attention to weather so I have no idea it's supposed to rain later on tonight I think oh it's that time of year it should be rain if it's not raining you're wondering why yeah <laughs> you're ready for it yeah well mama Yes, sir. Have yourself a wonderful Tuesday. You too. And I'll chit chat with you as the day goes on. Oh, right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Here's a, one of the completed spider alignments I did. Was that Friday or whatever? Just never got a chance to ride it. Look how dirty this thing is. Man. I think there's room for one spider we had have, have them up in the um, far end of the Indian showroom it's kind of the writer's lounge area we did find one fault with it right away which uh, it's kind of weird because <laughs> the uh, the parts manager that crashed is uh, brand new to him it literally left work and crashed it he's in a wheelchair and he was trying to get over to the vending machines and couldn't get to him because uh, that last spider I rode you guys on uh, was in the way so I moved some Rikers and things around well I gotta watch where I go I don't have no license plate on this thing not that that's ever stopped me before But it's registered to the to the store. Well, it shows that's where it's at. It's still registered to BRP, technically. Nothing gets registered until um, an owner picks it up. But in any case, I can prove that I work there. Plus, I got a coat that says my name and pro caliber and everything else on it. Hey, your GSXR guy's out again. I went this way just so I could take the alley. I, I'm missing my alley. Everything I've ridden has been parking lot rides, you know, after doing alignments and stuff. So I want to take my alley and run. We're, we are going to do a parking lot ride, but I took you down a little bit of road. <laughs> You think somebody would clean up their garbage there, you know? I guess it's kind of one of those things out of sight, out of mind. But still, it looks like, well, it looks like garbage. So, you know, I wasn't here yesterday. And one of you kind viewers was down here with his wife. I, I think initially, or she has a Riker and she's moving up. But anyway, she found a used 2020 RT that we have that they're coming this weekend to uh, to pick up. <clears throat> yeah, well, can you imagine going from a Riker to one of these? I mean, especially if you're into comfort. I mean, the Riker has its, it's its own little world. It's very fun and just silly and makes you smile and so on and so forth. But this is a game changer this is like driving an old you know 70s mg midget 
and jumping to a Cadillac. That is, that is not an exaggeration. <laughs> I love the people that, that tour on the Rikers. I have nothing against that. People tour on Sportsters too. But I just can't imagine for the comfort and everything, the ability to move around and stuff like that, taking my Sportster on a long trip. Although I'd love to do the Diablo run someday which i think is again this year isn't it it's every two years i don't know i want to do it that's a substantial trip for me because i gotta spend two days just getting down to the mexico border Oh, I feel so much better today, even though I still, I got six and a half hours sleep, which is actually pretty good, good for me. Um, I, uh, at least six. Used to be five, and now, you know, I walk away, I go, I'm just not comfortable after five. I'm okay, I function, everything, but uh, I don't know, just that extra hour. So I try to time things so that it works out that way. And because of me doing this, you know, the daily vlog and stuff, a lot of times, you know, during the week, it's all about work. So uh, they allow Kelly and I, because I'm up to all hours of the morning, they allow us to come in a little late, which is absolutely phenomenal of them. That's what, especially when you get new service advisors, they'll, they'll schedule a customer wait at like 9 a.m. when the store opens. Well, you end up with an unhappy customer. One, customer wait services are never a good idea. Literally never. There's just too many variables. It's just life, work, I mean, you could be down a person and you're having to cover for somebody else and it gets you behind and, and here they set this customer wait. A lot of people are really cool about it and the spider people generally are. Most BMW people but some, ooh, there are, a lot of them are kind of wound a little too tight anyway if you know what I mean. So yeah, it can go both ways. Definitely had some very angry spider customers. What took so long? All you were doing was this and that. Well, I can't control the service riders and you setting up a customer wait. Well, I live a long ways away. Well, expect to wait a little bit. Number one, I'm horribly slow. I'm way too anal. I nitpick every little thing. I lose money because of it, because it doesn't pay what I spend on it, but I'm okay with that. And that's, whoa, not getting through there, are we? I might be able to go down below. So that, that probably seemed like a really good idea for that guy to park in the middle of there, huh? <laughs> oh, look at this. We found ourselves a little, little hole. I'm not going to hit your door, I promise. I'm sure that makes him nervous. <laughs> so, you know, despite everything kind of getting corrected and we have an absolute showroom full of brand new motorcycles, it's still, you see a, well, I guess, well, a lot of those are 20s, 21s, 22s, but I would imagine they're prob probably a lot of them are used. But when I, I see, because from my area down there, I can see the truck. It comes off the freeway and it goes right around. I see the brand new Toyotas on trucks. And I can literally, two hours later, go for a test ride. And there is not a, one of those things in the parking lot. And people, <laughs> your truck's going to be here today at 2. They're out there waiting. I would be. But, you know, Toyotas are kind of like Honda. If you got to wait for... 
with that kind of quality and reliability you do it you want what you want yep I'm one of them crazy people that'll wait a stupid amount of time for something which is very odd because I am extremely impatient but once you realize you have to wait you, you just kind of accept it Speaking of <clears throat> waiting, so yesterday afternoon, I guess I didn't even pay attention to what the shipping was. You know, I went out there with the uh, with the truck because it was already starting to get dark out there when I was with you guys, and I I had that clip somehow or another. I I think I accidentally uh, put it in a trash on the camera side not the computer side so I'm going I'm missing something so I kind of I kind of pay attention to my time and I add it up I go oh yeah definitely missing something and uh yeah it was the like the ending thing I was just BSing about the RC car <laughs> get back to the story the penny rolled across the floor and I went running after it. Left my story behind. But uh, I ordered that uh, Hobby Wing 2-in-1 uh, Fusion Pro. <laughs> it's going to be here. It might even be here now. I'm like, dang, was that sitting in a warehouse close by? Anyway. I hate, I tried to hold out so I thought that, you know, the Hobby Wing uh, 1080 Gen 2 I think it's probably the stock motor not doing maybe I know that that electronic speed control the SC is way more capable of, of what I'm getting out of it I've I even watched a bunch of reviews and stuff on it I mean that thing rocks but most people are even either using one of the hobby wing motors or or something else they're they're matching it you know to something that can probably handle what that what that ESC can can dish out. Don't get me wrong, it's way better if you have a stock truck. It's well worth it, especially if you can find it on sale. It's forty nine ninety five, and I found that thing um, on uh, Amazon for thirty six bucks. You know, it's crazy. Is I had a question whether it came with the little bullet connectors on the where it plugs into the. Um, um, motor so I uh, opened up the the thing where I ordered it and I, it'll open up that thing for sale well I got it for 36 and some change and it was at 42 when I was just looking at info you know how you got really good pictures and stuff on Amazon and um, yeah geez already went up six bucks so I guess your price will vary depending on when you're looking wow this thing that is horribly dirty but it but the uh, this is one of the crates that ripped open <clears throat> in fact where you see that can-am off-road thing these uh two of these spiders were sitting there and the holes like, like i told you the big bag these are wrapping just was ripped out anyway thanks for coming along for a ride on a deep Marsala Red Chrome Edition Spider RT Limited 2022 model. So the ignition switch and all that stuff that has to be replaced because the keys are lost on that um, is going through insurance. Well, they needed <laughs> a four corner photo and they also needed the mileage. It's not like a Harley or a lot of other bikes where you can touch something and make the mileage show up. So. Anyway, I was, I touched on this on the ride. There it is. Another one of those 23 kilovolt quick run Fusion Pro. The two into one by Hobby Wing. This will make, well, I went through all this with the, uh, with the Bronco. Actually, I bought this for the TRX and went to the Hobby store to get something i forget what all i was there getting ended up with the bronco um now i got it for a 100 bucks off you know i mean right now 
those things he only had the one so yeah so i bought the the bronco love it but this will make the trx which the first motor should have been in first but the trx um sport will make it drive just like the bronco the control with these things is just next level i tried to keep her as stock as possible but oh well when it changes the way it drives and the way it functions that much it's it's worth worth the upgrade i think so anyway i tried to keep her stock oh well plus how do you not just love the way that thing looks if nothing else it just looks cool as heck got a cornwall guy had a this is one of the probes like a turkey temperature gauge kind of a thing don't put this in an oven though <laughs> but uh it's a digital one i've got multiple ones i got like cheap little plastic ones i got metal ones and this actually came with a cornwell uh this temperature gun is that cornwell yeah cornwell that came in the box but it's a good ambient temperature thing checking in here of course i've got the digital ones and stuff now too so anyway stuff gotta love it can't wait to drive the truck with that in it well hello there youtube how about this how long has it been since we did a in the car vlog it's been a while we usually don't do it in the acura anyway because everything is other than seats is black inside here oh, yeah it makes it hard to see yeah and it's got that massive window up there so the lights aren't above us other knees yeah so you can see the one right there yeah, you know that one yeah <laughs> anyway it was a quiet very quiet day at yes, work today was. kelly was oddly enough doing inventory stuff but it was writing like, off things that, weird stuff yeah and uh, a lot of like punching in numbers yeah she's punching a lot of numbers up there my my keyboard fingers will be tired by the time I'm done with all that. I do need to cut my nails off. <laughs> oh, you get too much clickety-clack in the well, keyboard? Yeah, and my nails want to hit other buttons. Too. Oh, well, I think on that, out here, finally the dogs are calming down a little bit here. Yeah, till we crack that door open. Yeah. Our first in the car goodbye vlog in a long time. Yeah, first of 23. Yep, definitely first of 23. Mm -hmm. I think we did some about this time last year. So. Yeah. Anyway, we ain't got nothing to say. Nope. It's the but end of the day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging around. Another mysterious day of the life of the smokes. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. This maybe is a true. pew pew. Maybe a toy. Maybe a motorcycle. Maybe electrical problems. Yeah. It's going to uh, be something, though. Yeah. Something. Mm -hmm. Just drag you along. Yeah. <laughs> All right. righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. All right. See you in the morning. See you then. Bye-bye now.